Hi, and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery, brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Build the best blanket forts while experiencing forces of gravity, tension, and center of mass. Join us at Fort Mods for blanket fort physics. How are we doing today? Welcome to the Mods channel. I'm Michael. Today we are talking about building a fort. Now we're not building a fort like in our backyard or in our front yard, even though you could, but we're talking more of in the house using what we have. We're not getting out the hammers and the nails. We're just using what we have. Blankets, uh, clothespins, binder clips work. I'm not a big fan of some people use books as anchors, but we're gonna talk about why that is probably not a safe or good idea. When you're building a fort, you have to take a couple of things into account. One is gravity. So gravity is always pushing down on us, right? If you build something and try to suspend it, gravity is fighting you. It is trying to push everything down to the center of the earth or the ground, since that's the hardest thing that stops you from getting to the center of the earth. And we also take into account tension. Now tension, if you're pulling things really tight and you accidentally bump them, it is all going to come down on top of you. So if you look at our, at our fort right now, you can see we use a lot of tablecloths that we had laying around. We use clothespins, we use binder clips. But if you look on the inside, we, oh, hey Alina, how you doing? We also have used a lot of our makerspace chairs and we also have our couch that we have taken and used in here. Now, if you have a few kids who wanna help build one big fort, something to really consider, break it up into different rooms or sections. I know that sounds very complicated, but you can use the furniture. My staff keeps looking at me. You can keep, you can use it to break up the different quadrants in there so that kids can have their own space. You can do this as an overnight thing with the kids to sleep in there. Couple of things to be careful about though. So if you're using books, you're actually gonna cause the blankets to slip out from under the, the books or the books to go with the blanket and then they're gonna actually collapse down on you. So we don't want that. So what we've used is we've used some pretty heavy buckets to really create that. Now one cool thing that I did notice is Ikea, one of our partners here, they actually have released a cool way to make at-home forts using their furniture. So if you love Ikea furniture, go ahead and take a peek at that. It's on their website. It's a fun way to do it. I, I got more imagination. I feel like when you do this, it's kind of like a makerspace. You get to use your own imagination. You get to build it however you want. So if you, if you were on the job site and building a real fort or a real building, you'd be using nuts, bolts, studs, nails. Here we're using clothespins and binder clips to create anchor points that allow us to keep things together. If you're looking to create more of a tent-like thing, a broom usually works really well right in the center because it's going to hold everything up in the middle, which is gonna give you an elevated roof that you can use. Here, we actually just used our chairs to keep up and create a little roof for ourselves. You can use the sofa, you can use the cushions on the sofa, you can use pillows, you can see we have our couch here. We also have built our cushions up here to create a wall or a boundary. And once again, easy, safe, collapsible, we can take it apart quickly to clean up. All you need is a room or a corner of the house that you can kind of give up for a little while. It's a lot of fun and it keeps everybody away from the TV or from doing other things rather than working as a team to build a cool fort. So we hope you enjoy looking at our fort, checking it out. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Special thanks to Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner for powering this series. Please stay safe and connected with Mods by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.